Trump derangement syndrome was on full display yesterday at the hearing of the House Judiciary Committee. Attorney General Bill Barr was the picture of calm and control as Democrats threw futile temper tantrums and embarrassed themselves. Because these childish House Democrats could not put President Donald Trump in the hot seat, they did the next best thing by yelling at Attorney General Barr and not letting him respond to their ridiculous and partisan howling. We don't deserve Bill Barr. Let me tell you why. I'm Gail Trotter, host of The Gail Trotter Show. I'm a liberty-loving, tyranny-hating lawyer based in your nation's capital. My goal is to keep you informed and to be your spokesman in Washington, D.C. Subscribe to my show so you won't miss a daily episode. Hit the bell and comment down below on what topics you would like me to cover next. Welcome to all the new subscribers, and I want to thank those who have commented on YouTube about recent episodes. On yesterday's episode about Paul Gallant and the violence in Seattle that the mainstream media won't cover properly, we heard from viewer Mark Dickinson. He wrote, Well said, I just found your channel. I live right down the street from where this happened. It has been anything but peaceful here and the police are handcuffed to do anything about it. Thank you, Mark, for sharing your personal experience with us. On Monday's episode about Nevada discriminating against religion, we heard from viewer Julie Shaw. She wrote, Thank you for speaking out about this issue. We are having severe problems in this state. Well over 100,000 people still haven't been paid, and our tyrannical governor keeps hurting small businesses. With all this despair, church is needed now more than ever. This is highly unconstitutional. I see Fremont Street packed with people. If casinos can be packed, churches should be allowed the same rights. Julie, I couldn't agree with you more. Thank you so much for commenting and telling us on the ground reporting from what's happening in Nevada. We have rioting in Seattle. We have religious discrimination in Nevada. This is why it is so important to have an attorney general acting on behalf of the American people. Bill Barr is directing the Department of Justice to work on both of these issues and many, many more. And he is not intimidated by the partisan hackery of the mainstream media or the House Democrats. I have two reflections about this House Judiciary Committee hearing to share with you today. First, the House Democrats tried to intimidate Bill Barr and make him look bad to the American people. Their efforts backfired and only hurt the Democrats. Please watch Bill Barr's short opening statement linked below if you have not watched it yet. I'm also going, to, also going to link down below to a piece by my friend Andrew McCarthy in National Review. It's entitled, Democrats Make Mop Mockery of Barr Hearing. As Andy points out in his excellent piece, Democrats have been screaming for Attorney General Barr to come to Capitol Hill for a hearing and to testify for months. Yet, they partially achieved their goal when Attorney General Barr sat down in the hearing room for their grilling, but he didn't take it like they expected him to take it. Andy writes, but of course, it wasn't anything like an actual hearing, and they didn't want him to testify as in answer actual questions. The session was a coveted election year opportunity for Democrats to berate the Attorney General of the United States in five minute installments, accusing Barr of corruption, perjury, violating his oath, betraying the Constitution, and at one point, even of killing thousands of COVID-19 victims, apparently by being Attorney General during a pandemic. Andy goes on hypothesizing that House Democrats behaved like two-year-olds because that is what their voters crave from them. Andy writes, quote, Barr brings out the worst in House Democrats, which is saying something. He is learned and quick, he's prepared, and he doesn't get rattled. Unlike many government officials, he thrives in the give and take of civil discourse, end quote. Andy goes into why it's so important in times like this 
that we have oversight of the Department of Justice, that bad calls are going to be made with incomplete evidence, and it's important for the legislature to oversee what's going on in the Department of Justice. And I think people of any political stripe should agree with that point by Andy. However, when the Democrats get up there and they just are railing against a person, not really asking good questions, not having responses that are made to the entire American people, then it makes a mockery of a congressional hearing. Andy ends his piece by writing, at a minimum, it means there is no point in having congressional hearings. What it portends, though, is far more dire than that. It doesn't matter how you feel about Donald Trump or Bill Barr, a faction that would rather delegitimize than debate its opposition can do that to anyone or anything. At this point, it's about power, not policy or progress. Anyone who wants power that badly shouldn't be anywhere near it. End quote. Completely agree with Andy. I have made that point repeatedly. The Democrats, Democrats' highest value is power, and they will do anything to try and gain more power and to shut Republicans out of any power. Truly, the Democrats seem to just want heads on pikes, and they will not rest until they accomplish complete political domination and repudiation of anything Republican or anything related to Donald Trump, including his attorney general and his supporters. The second point that I want to share with you today about the House Judiciary Committee meeting yesterday with Attorney General Bill Barr testifying is that the mainstream media tried to intimidate Bill Barr and make him look bad. Their efforts only confirm that they are journalists in name only. I'm going to link down below to a piece by my friend Joe Concha on Fox News entitled Joe Concha Rips Coverage of the Bar Hearing. The media is doing America no favors with omissions bias. Quoting from this piece where Joe Concha went on Fox News to discuss the media coverage of Bill Barr, of the rioting, and of general issues in our country, quote, the coverage of Attorney General William Barr's Tuesday hearing before the House Judiciary Committee further proved that biased actors in the mainstream media are mirroring the attitude and actions of anti-Trump Democratic lawmakers, the Hill's Joe Concha said on Wednesday. Joe goes into evidence for why he makes this assertion. He says, at one point, ABC News, which is supposed to be a mainstream objective news source, ABC News had a tweet this was really remarkable. Quote, protesters in California set fire to a courthouse, damaged a police station, assaulted officers after a peaceful demonstration intensified, he read. Whoever wrote that tweet, and that went to 15.7 million people on the ABC News account, by the way, will need a chiropractor from twisting and turning in terms of the way they are putting this together at this point. Imagine that, how this tweet talks about protesters stepped fire to a courthouse, damaged a police station, assaulted officers after a peaceful demonation, dis, de, demonstration intensified. Look at Chuck Todd. He's supposed to be a straight journalist and not an opinion journalist. I'm going to link down below to some reporting that he did on MSNBC. He said of the House Judiciary uh, Committee hearing, he was surprised at how comfortable Bill Barr is playing a partisan. And you can just see the bias dripping from this quote of Chuck Todd. It wasn't a criticism of the Democrats for holding a mock hearing or for their complete malfeasance and neglect of their duty of oversight of the Department of Justice. No, he tries to paint 
Bill Barr as a partisan instead of actually focusing at what really happened during the hearing. Most people can't sit around and watch a House Judiciary Committee hearing, and even if they had the time, they wouldn't want to because it was so disturbing to watch the House Democrats uh, have these feudal temper tantrums. But then when the mainstream media reports it, that Bill Barr is being the partisan, then that affects so many people who aren't able to see the source material themselves. So I want to fix that record. I'm going to link down below to a Fox News piece that continues to elaborate and give more evidence on this idea. It's uh, entitled, Washington Post PBS Reporters Accused of Cheerleading for Democrats During the Bar Hearing. The piece goes into tweets by supposed objective journalists who are cheerleading, who seem to be giving uh, excited utterances in favor of the Democrats in this House Judiciary meeting. So I'm going to link down below so you can read that if, you're, if you would like to learn more about that as well. In conclusion, Bill Barr is an amazing person. I've never met him, but his grace under pressure should be inspiring to all Americans. He's a public servant. He's our attorney general. For all the harassment, target, targeting, and opprobrium he receives, he stands firm on principle and his steadfast to our Constitution, steadfastness to our Constitution is inspiring. He is sticking up for regular people like us, and he will not be harassed into neglecting his duties. We don't deserve Bill Barr, but we are grateful for him. I'm going to ask you to do two things today. First, call out the House Democrats for their abhorrent behavior in the House Judiciary Committee hearing yesterday. I will link below to a list of the committee members for your convenience. Secondly, call out the mainstream media on social media for their participation in a mockery of a congressional hearing. Thank you so much for joining me today. Please subscribe to the show below, hit the bell so you don't miss a daily episode, and comment on what topics you would like me to cover next. Thanks for listening to The Gail Trotter Show, right in D.C. Be sure to sign up for her mailing list on her website, gailtrotter.com. And also follow her on Twitter, at Gail Trotter, as well as on Facebook and Instagram. Subscribe now, it's easy. Thanks for listening. Share the truth. Share The Gail Trotter Show.